Okay, here we are, finish line, Pikes Peak Marathon. I'm talking to Stevie Kramer. She just won the race. Stevie, congratulations. Thank you very much. How'd it go? I think it went okay. Yeah. I, you know, the, the up was definitely tough and it got warm, but um, I think I paced myself well on the up to be able to run the whole way down. Yeah. Yeah, finished in 417 something? Yes, I think, and some change. A couple minutes off the record. <sighs> Dang. It's like my middle name. Because <laughs> uh, you just missed one in Europe too, right? Yeah, last, last fall I missed one by a minute and 20 seconds or a minute and 30 seconds. Where was that at? The Jungfrau Marathon. Yeah, right. Yeah. A big race. Yes. But you know, the truth is, I don't know that I could have pushed myself much more. And it was a hot day, so I stopped a lot to drink. Yeah. And, you know, I, I was very thirsty. Today? Yes. Yeah, yes. gotcha. Um, and you were talking about coming down uh, and high fiving people, and I mean, we got this, uh, you know, about 700, 800 runners coming up, so you've got to pass them all coming down. It was amazing. I had absolutely <laughs> no difficulty. Everyone put their hand out, said congratulations, yeah. and it just made you want to keep going faster, and they, they were all just so wonderful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, coming in, did you have ideas that, okay, maybe I'll win the Pikes Peak Marathon? No. No? Driving in last night with Cherry Sullivan, who is awesome. Yeah. She came with me to give me support. No way. You know, I really? ran the Sears and all last weekend yeah, on okay. Sunday. And it's a shorter race, only 31K, but I don't know why. It did something on my legs. So I was really worried about my legs. But yeah, yeah I guess it worked out okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, altitude, it's not very often that you're running at 14,000 feet. How did how'd you, how'd it work out for you? you? You know, that was also a worry of mine. But uh, I got back to Crested Butte on Wednesday. Yeah. And I hiked one peak <laughs> to 13,000 feet. Yeah. Or was it 12? Anyway, I tried to do some things above, you know, 10,000 feet. But yeah. I think it went okay. You know, I've been living in Crested Butte for seven years. So right. Yeah. Being away from it for a year might not have affected me as others coming sure. from Texas or. Yeah. You know. You, and you just got back from a year in Italy, where you were a school teacher. Yes. That must have been awesome. It was a great year. I had a wonderful year, but yeah. it's so good to be back. Yeah. Yeah. And um, um, uh, and so what's uh, what's coming up for you now? You gonna uh, do more Skyrunner series or? You know, the next Skyrunning series is. Um, on Saturday, so yeah, I won't next be week. going there because yeah. school starts. But I will be going back to Switzerland for the Jungfrau Marathon, I think, in a few weeks. Gotcha. And then, I don't know. Gotcha. Then ski That's season starts. Yeah, right. That's yeah. awesome. That's so good. It's 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 cool to have you back in Colorado because I'm you know I was like, dang it, Stevie moved away, and it was, it was fun. What you know? I, I, I think ski mountaineering is the best compliment to mountain running. So I'm so excited to get back into it because I wasn't able to do it too much in Italy. Well, well, and uh, Marshall is uh, uh, proof of that. Right. Um, the guy's awesome. Yeah. And that's his, that's his sport, is ski mountaineering, that's right? That's his sport, yep, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, and um, was there a moment in the race today when, um, you know, something went right or, or something happened and you were like, oh, this is gonna, this is gonna be good? Do you remember? I've never felt so good on a downhill. Yeah. Ever. You know, that I've always said that that's my biggest, that that's my biggest weakness. Yeah. And, Today, for some reason, it was it wasn't such a weakness. It yeah. surprised me. Good for you. Yeah. Good. It's awesome, man. Thank you for everything. Congratulations. You got it, man.